Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the concession stand here on the KB Radio Network. I am your host, Kevin Reed, and welcome to the review of the first two episodes of Marvel Television's uh, Disney Plus brand new TV show or miniseries, Agatha All Along, which stars Catherine Hung. This is a continuation, a sequel, a spinoff even of WandaVision that came out a couple of years ago on Disney+. Plus. And one of the takeaways from that show, one of the standouts of that show was Catherine Hong as Attica Harkness. And she gets her own show, and this was announced right after WandaVision, and we're finally getting it on Disney+. Plus. First two episodes released this past Wednesday, September the 18th. I was looking forward to this in the worst way because I enjoy Catherine. Hunt. I'm a fan of hers outside of the MCU, outside of this character. And I really enjoyed her in WandaVision. And so to see her continue on with this role has been a breath of fresh air when they announced this. The premise of the show, a spellbound Attica Harkness regains freedom thanks to a teenager's help. Intrigued by his plea, she embarks on the richest road trials to reclaim her powers and discover the teen's motivations. And so it, there's so much going on behind all of these characters that were introduced in this, these first two episodes. I love the setup of this show, you know, going forward. I think we're in for a treat. If you was a fan of WandaVision when it came out, of, uh, what, what was it, three years ago? It was during the pandemic. So when that was that, 2020? So about four years ago. Uh, if you was a fan of that show, you know, how this show opens up the very first episode, you're right back in that groove, kind of, you know, you're right back in that mode where we pick up in this crime drama <laughs> that Ad Agatha is in. You know, we know when we left her uh, at the end of WandaVision, uh, the Scarlet Witch had put a spell on her, stripped her of her powers and you know, trapped her in Westview. And so now we pick up, she's just wandering in Westview. She's a detective. It's kind of, it was a take on the mayor, mayor of East town. If you ever seen that on HBO with Kate Winslet, awesome show. I mean, phenomenal show. I'm pretty sure you can see it on max. Love it. This was a offshoot of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the first half, of the first episode was an offshoot of that. And I loved how they played that. And once she breaks out of this spell and, you know, we get the Attica heartness that we know and love, it really spins into a really cool story that it continues. It picks up where we left off in WandaVision and we're off to the races. You know, the second episode is the gathering of this coven and, Every, each witch is a different, is not this, you know what I'm saying? Your prototypical witch, you know, <laughs> that we know from movies and television and uh, other media outlets, but everyone had their own different spin to being a witch. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm down with this. And I was definitely down with the way things laid out going forward in uh episode two ended in a pretty pretty good way you know it, it's exciting we're off to the we're off to the uh races if you will um by the end of episode two they reached the road the witch's road so there's no need to le let that linger on we're there and so <laughs> the remaining episodes of this show um, will be the trials. I was assume, you know, we got introduced to uh, quasi villains in this show. In the first two episodes, uh, Audrey Plaza is in this show who I'm a huge fan of as well. Also got a little crush on too. <laughs> I always had a little crush on Audrey Plaza, but, uh, yeah, she's in this show and 
she she looks she looks very formidable as as a villain, but we really don't know because technically uh uh Hartness is a villain. So it's it's kind of two handed there. And Joe Locke's character, I mean, they don't say it. They do a good job of trying to hide who he is, but that's basically Wiccan. And if you don't know who w- Wiccan is in the comics, that's the Scarlet Rich son. And so uh, <laughs> there's some things there that's kind of, you know, scratching the surface of some some real interesting things uh, 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 that lie ahead. Uh, but and and this that's just a guess. I'm guessing that he's wicked. But why else would you hide it? There's no other reason to hide that character other than the fact that that's wicked. Um, you also don't know Audrey Plasser's character name either. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking that's going to be another. I I couldn't figure out who she's going to be, but um, or turn out to be. But uh, I think that we're in for a shocker there too. And so there, there are some really good things about this show. Uh, I really couldn't nail down anything negative in these first two episodes. Uh, other than the fact, maybe the second episode drug a little, uh, if, you know, if I had to penny pinch here and nitpick, if you will, and, you know, try to find things to be mad at. I guess you could say that it kind of drug in the second episode. The first episode was a great setup. Second episode I felt was good, but it just felt, a, you know, at this point, let's get it along. You know, let's move the story along. There was a couple of scenes that maybe they could have trimmed down a little bit. And, you know, it, isn't, it didn't kill the episode. It wasn't like I got bored or anything, uh, but... Like I said, if I'm a nitpick, I'm a nitpick that. Everything else was great. The acting in this show so far in these first two episodes is phenomenal. I, I'm loving the acting. I'm loving the performances. I'm loving the chemistry between uh, 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 Catherine Hong and Joe Locke and all the other uh, uh, women in this coven. And it just it just feels right. You know, it don't it don't feel like a Marvel show that they just threw on Disney Plus to get us by. This actually feels like there's something here that we're we're in for a treat and I can't wait. I'm I'm strapped in and ready to go on this ride down the Riches Road all the way to Halloween. Uh every episode will drop on Wednesdays, on Disney Plus, all the way till Halloween. Uh, I think the day before, I think uh, October the 30th will be the last episode. You know, and they timed it perfectly. So that works. (laughs) That works. Uh, But this is the perfect show to get us in the mood for Halloween. You know, it's crazy to think that Halloween is literally right around the corner. This year flew by. Uh, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. It's weird that we've gotten to, uh, you know, October's front door already. But it is what it is. Uh, But I would love to know what are your thoughts of Attica all along so far? Did you enjoy these first two episodes? Are you willing to go down this uh, ride down the richest road? Or have you checked out on Marvel? Are you one of the ones who are, quote unquote, in superhero fatigue you know i I would love to know i'm I'm outside of the mcu take the mcu out of it because you know as it stands this show yes it's a technically a part of the mcu but not really this has nothing to do with iron man (laughs) it has nothing to do with spider-man this has nothing to do with any of our main superheroes or characters that we watched in the films, you know, other than the Scarlet Witch, but you know, she's not in play right now. Uh, it will be cool to see her pop up in the cameo or something, which will be interesting. But, uh, aside from that, this really has nothing to do with any of our other characters. This is more, you know, it's just like when we used to read the comics back in the day, or you still read them now, you know, they're separate issues that, Marvel or DC or whatever comic book company that you favor 
you know, characters that's in the canon of the main storylines, but there's other issues that's, that stand outside of the storyline that you can enjoy as well. This, this show stands out like that. And, uh, you know, you need to kind of reinvent the wheel sometimes, do something different. And, you know, punchy, punchy, smashy, smashy, and it's, it's, it's all fine and good. I'll watch that till my eyes bleed. But every now and then, I want to see something different. I want to see some horror stuff. I want to see some scary stuff. And this show has that. This show even has nudity, which I was in. It was brief nudity. It's not like it was full frontal and all that there. You saw Catherine Hans, but, you know, <laughs> and it, it, it was crazy to think that, like, this on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, uh, but uh, I mean, this is a very different show. This is not your typical MCU type show. Uh, but anyway, the, back to the question I asked about 20 minutes ago. Oh, how are you enjoying this show? I would love to know. Email the show, kbradiopodcast at gmail.com. You can also search for the show on all social media platforms. Just search for the KB Radio Network. Also, subscribe to the kb radio network channel on youtube and like this video if you don't mind also don't forget about the five stars the reviews and sharing this show if you're listening on apple Podcasts, spotify iHeartRadio, radio wherever you are currently listening to the concession stand here on the kb radio network everybody thank you for joining me for this review more of a reaction to the first two episodes of agatha all along want you all to know that i love you continue to love everyone and until we speak again you all be blessed